afternoon, everyone. Good day. It's 12 a uh, 12 p.m. here in the Netherlands, and um, it's a beautiful weather, beautiful day. I'm just relaxing, chillaxing, you know, meditating, declaring some affirmations to myself. Today's theme is self love, and the 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 very affirmation i listened to was so powerful so self-love you know i am learning how to love myself i'm learning how to be for myself i'm learning how to you know fight myself first it's not selfishness but i'm trying to make sure that what i do you know portrays me first before any other thing so you know <laughs> I am just being me. You remember that? You are welcome to the channel. This is your girl, me being me. channel again this is your again me being me i hope you're being yourself i hope you're making sure that you're being yourself and you're ignoring every other distractions and every other challenges you might be facing facing and make sure you are being you to be able to finish up this year happy because you know what you are special for you to see this period of the month of the year <laughs> you know what it is darling so you're welcome back to the channel and if this is your first time this is your girl me being me on this platform i talk about me i tell you my story i also share some interesting and inspiring videos to motivate you using my audios my experiences all things that i have seen all things that i i think that might interest you so it's a random platform which is a personal platform of diversity so you're welcome and stay tuned because this channel you are going to be hooked up and to all of you that has been subscribed to the channel i don't even know what to say i don't even know how to thank you but you know what i say thank you for being a part of me i know you must have you must have been wondering why she not uploading more videos anymore and most of you are feeling like oh maybe she's not serious i'm serious so don't even go away i am serious just don't don't leave me don't leave me <laughs> So in today's video, in order not to make it a long video, I have come to tell you guys that I finished with the house. I finally finished the living room. Not the house totally because you guys know we've done the pal the, the kitchen. You guys already saw the video, right? We've also done uh, the children room, which I but only I have not had time to compile those edits because I used two different phones to video when I was doing all that for the children's room but like I said my children's room is a place where I always want to update so I think since since May I've like remodeled it two times <laughs> so I've done May on and later we done we did we did it and now we have the one that it, it is now so probably by next year I will still think of okay I think now it needs something to I might change, I might change the up the setup, okay? But finally, my living room, as you can already see from the background, unlike what I showed you guys in the first page, as you can already see, this living room is living. It is living. You know, the background already shows that it is, it is living already. It, it looks modern, isn't it? It looks modern. And you know what? Everything, apart from the TV that I got somebody to fix for me, I did almost everything on myself. So it's not even a big deal. But everything, you know, fixing of fixing of cupboard, removing of fridge, pushing the fridge to the store, clearing everything. Like this girl is a super girl. Anybody will get this girl, we don't know the value of the person where she gets, where he gets that person a loser. That person a loser. You understand? Because, because you know what, eh? The, this period, the coziness in this little abode is amazing. The bond, the connection I'm having with my children. How my children feel when they are home. How my children feel when they want to go to their room. How my children feel when they want to sit down and watch television. Like every day they give me kusher. Every now and then they talk about our house. You can imagine the children knowing that they weren't living in a cozy environment. And they sing this to your ear as a parent. 
All you need to do is to make sure those children are happy. And that is what I have been trying to do. I am happy with the results so far. And I am still promising them that it's going to be more better. And I know, I don't even know how God is going to do it. But I know that one day we will get to the, you know, to the level where I want them. I think you know this housing thing. I am freaking so crazy about house. If I see people who have beautiful houses or who live in a beautiful, beautiful, clean house, I admire them. Like I can't even stop admiring. Anybody that knows me know that. <laughs> you understand? So I'm going to be showing you guys the end result of the living room, what I have done, how it's finally ended up, and what I've finally done. Okay? So, like I said, this home of mine i am like someone i'm like my home should also be like when i'm changing clothes mm, sorry <laughs> i don't believe in the kind of like okay oh this is gonna be like this and it's gonna be like this for a long time no probably by next month or next two months or something i'm gonna change some things you know change some things give it some touches change some change the curtain give it another color of curtain you know do rechange reposition that's the kind of person i am so i might be crazy but that is that's just the kind of person I am. So if I come up after cleaning up the house in the night, I'm always sitting there like, okay, maybe this one should go here, maybe that one should come here. I am like that. I don't know if another person is like that, but that's me. Okay. So, but at the end of the day, I'll be showing you guys what I have done, and actually, for you to know that you don't need to, you don't need to spend so much money before you could get a beautiful home don't need to this this whole thing yeah the only thing i can say that is expensive is the tires okay the tires and the workmanship because if like say me for me fit fixed tires i have for doing and i'm thinking of going to learn this kind of things because i know that tomorrow i will get a bigger place and by the time i get a bigger place i also want to be that i'm doing some of these things i enjoy doing it like i enjoy doing it doing things like you know decorating and you know putting things in place i love it so probably in the future i might go and learn something so but it's only the ties that is expensive guys you know we are in europe and um, my television okay that's the only thing but every other thing in this house okay most of them not even second hand and a second hand fact i'm going to be telling you in the video everything how and where or how i got them and how much it cost me but my tv and the floor is the only thing that i know that is very very like it's okay expensive but everything <laughs> just listen and as you watch enjoy let's see what you think have you done your living room you don't need to buy me ones babes you can buy second handed ones you can really buy second handed ones that are clean you can make your home that cozy the way you want it. Mm -hmm. You can. You just can. We never get money for new ones. So what we have, we will manage for now. So I'll see you and you enjoy the tour. Thank you. And if you've not subscribed there, eh, make sure see you just the subscribe Nana. Eh? You don't subscribe. When they subscribe, now. Okay, if you need to. When they subscribe there, yeah, when they carefully look. Subscribe for your baby. I love you. So guys, this is the moment that is, uh, that was the day that I was painting the, you know, in my background, those, the shelf you saw, the pink rose, uh, pink shelf you saw, it was actually a, a wooden color, I bought it from Action, I bought it around 10 euros, so what I did, because the wooden color didn't suit any of my interiors, it doesn't, it didn't suit so i said okay <laughs> i used the paint i used to paint my children's room which i'm going to still make a review of that i used the paint to paint the wood you can see the wooden color inside so i use it to paint the the uh, sh wooden shelf and then i got uh, you know the color that i got so that was what i i did here so, so guys, I just finished painting this house 
and you guys already saw how I painted the house. It was white before, and then I had to paint it just to give the house a lot of kind of shade around the TV corner. And that's the wooden thing that I painted outside. Um, see how it is. And then in this video, I talked about this uh, place that the extension is, and I didn't like how it looked. And then I was looking for, I was thinking on how to cover that part, so I don't like I've seen stitches everywhere, I really don't like it, I wish we could start with these stitches to be hidden, it would be better for somebody like me. So I removed the fridge that used to be in the pile on the other side of the pile, I had to remove it because the fridge was even making so much noise, and then I removed it and put it in the, in the storeroom. And then this is me trying to fix the the curtains. Um, yeah, I had to first. Uh, there I had the uh, what's it called the the row cutting that one. But I decided to give it a uh, yeah because this one is just the beauty that from outside it looks good, it looks organized. But I had to also buy what we call vitrage, and uh and then i bought the cotton as well so this was me trying to fix this whole thing this whole cotton thing so as you can see i i have fixed the vitrage and this vitrage have also a kind of light pink of or purple a color that reflects with the wall that we have and some of our interiors like the wall the tv corner the trope cushions and you know some of the paintings so it has this pink purple kind of shade on it so i liked it and i'm so happy that i bought it and i actually bought that cutting from uh, from, uh, from our uh, second hand shops uh, second hand uh, online online shop Luckily for me, the person bought it and they didn't use it. So I bought it, I think I bought it for of it around probably 20 euros, I guess. It's around 20 euros that I bought it. Okay. So that is this of the videos. I lost it and this is the final look of the whole thing. I moved the, the table to the other side of the house. And this table, I bought it from also we have what we call the marketplace online on our in our uh, city in, in Netherlands here. And also the stools for the for the, the stool, I bought it also second hand. I bought the table second hand, and then I bought the stool second hand. And then so the the chair, the bank, or the couch, right? I actually bought this couch second hand and I bought it for 50 euros. <laughs> In fact, it happened that our chair was already spoiled and I needed something that might that we can just put in the house for the main time until when I save money, work and save money to buy a new chair. So I was checking on the market plats and then I saw this very chair and the person a place a uh, bidden bidden is uh, that is pricing so i was you know, like i just priced 50 euros just it was a careless because i know that this person can never say this i didn't expect that this person will say this 50 euros i know it's more than 100 euros sell. but immediately i got a message when can you come and carry it i felt like it was a joke so I said, can I come and carry it? Is, it, is there anything wrong with the, uh, the chair? The guy told me that he wants to remove the chair as, as possible because he is buying a new chair. And then when I went there, it happened that this guy is a single guy. He said the chair he had not, he doesn't even sit on it. He's a single guy. He bought a house and then he's getting married. So he's changing some of his interiors and that's how if not, if not that I bought 50 euros, he would have thrown the chair away. So I bought that one. And this stool, this dining stool as well, I bought from another place. I bought six pieces of that. I bought it for 50 euros. And then I bought a dining table for 
70 euros. So this is a table a table mat that I used to just cover in the table cloth that I used to cover in. And then that cast there, the cupboard there, the draw the shelf there with the drawer there. That one is new. I bought it around uh, 130 euros by one shop. Uh, Ikea used Ikea have it. But when I went there, Ikea was only having the black one. And luckily for me, there was another shop that I bought this shelf. And I was so happy that exactly the size I was looking for, that they had it. So I bought it and I fixed it by myself. And then that's my uh, camera stand. The shelf up there, the round shelf also bought from Ikea. I think I bought around 90 euros or so. And uh, this, uh, yeah, that uh, wall, um, wall something, I bought it from one big sh shop, I can't remember, it was when I was placing the tiles and I bought it. I bought the plant from Ikea, the big, the big plant there, I bought it from Ikea. I bought the curtains from Ikea, this curtain, I bought it from Ikea. And then I bought um, this... Uh, this table, the, the plate, uh, so, the tray on the dining table, you, you guys would have seen it. I bought it from our Vinko shop here, one shop that they sell, Tokai shop, Moroccan Tokai shop, I guess. You know, that's where I normally buy most of the, some of my decors as well. And then you see my beautiful things here, my deco decos, <laughs> my plants from uh, Action, and this other plant from uh, Xenox, and this other plant, uh, plant man from also from Xenox. And that one, that one, that, that white silver one is my lovely, lovely, lovely. I bought it from one other shop, the same shop I bought this uh, cover, that's where I bought it. I don't really remember the name of that shop. Their name is somehow, it's not a word. I don't know, it's one kind of strange name. I don't know how to call it. So you see my TV corner. I am still trying to look on how to, this TV corner, I'm still going to work on it. This is my parlor area. I'm still going to get a big a plant to put there. I'm still going to, there's this other plant that I want to buy, which is expensive a little, but it's a fresh plant. I think it deserves to be around there in the parlor for humidity, for, for humidity or something. Uh, a moisture absorbent plant. I'm going to buy it. And you saw how the TV area and kudos to my lovely sweet hearts, babes, that made that help to make our dream come true. You know, so. And then that floor also, I bought it from my customer uh, Turkish bingo very cheap and why I love that very carpet that rug that center rug is that you can easily put it in the washing machine and you wash it off and voila dry it so I'm not scared of like thinking of oh when can I go and wash my uh, my floor carpet or my center rug I'm not thinking about that anymore because I've washed the one in my children's room in the washing machine it came out well it didn't spoil everything was well so like i said this house will still be having some retouching up now and then like i can always change the position recolor that's what i want to be doing in this house like i don't care i don't want to know what i so far as i'm gonna be happy i'm doing it so this is the thing i told you guys that i bought i actually saw this idea on uh, an instagram page you know put some of these cookies teas, and, and when i saw this i was like oh this is what i'm gonna buy and i bought it you know sometimes i fill up some oreo cookies and some peanuts and tea so sometimes we want to drink tea we'll sit down eat our oreo eat uh, uh, peanuts you know and have a cozy moment <laughs> so guys how do you guys think i did do you guys think i did well like i said there i will come again with another review and show you guys any, any other day i change some interiors i'll let you guys know thank you